So you think I'm a liberal? I'll bet you do. Welcome to my channel, What Kathy Thinks. On my video, Trump, Abortion, and the Pursuit of Happiness with Brandy Miller, we talk about abortion in the United States. When I was young, a new voter, I was a single issue voter. I voted pro-choice. I had a bumper sticker on my car that said, if you don't trust me with a choice, how can you trust me with a child? At the time, this seemed to me to be very logical. Over the years, two single events caused me to rethink my stance. I'm not saying that I'm against abortion in all situations. I'm not. In the cases of rape and incest in particular, I think that there is ample room for the termination of a pregnancy. But one instance in particular made me rethink my position completely. In the early 1990s, someone very dear to me was in their second half of medical school. If you are unfamiliar with how medical school works in this, in this country, in your first two years, you have academic classes, you have a cadaver, and you begin to understand gross anatomy. And in the second two years, you go through clinical rotations. That is, each month, you work in a different specialty. So you might work in neonatal care one month, and then in another month, you might work in a, a cardiovascular unit. And in this particular situation, my friend was working in neonatal care. On one particular day, there was a couple that came in. The woman was 20 weeks pregnant. During an amniocentesis, it was discovered that her child had trisomy 21. This is a genetic condition that indicates Down syndrome. The couple chose to terminate the pregnancy. There was a procedure that was done and the fetus was delivered. The fetus was delivered viable. That is, the baby was born living and breathing. Under the terms of the law in the state in which this occurred, the fetus had no legal standing. Because the fetus had no legal standing, the parents were not informed that the child was born alive. After all, it was not a child, it was fetal tissue. My friend had the horrifying task of monitoring the fetal tissue's vital signs until the fetal tissue expired. This took eight hours. That was my friend's work day. From 8 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m., Every 15 minutes, she recorded the vital signs of the fetal tissue. Just before she was due to leave work for the day, the fetal tissue expired. My friend called me after she got home, horrified. Like me, she was a single issue voter. Like me, she was pro-choice. She was a doctor. She was ethically and legally trained to understand all the implications of the situation. That day changed both of us. Today, more than 25 years later, we understand that People with trisomy 21 live full, rewarding lives. They marry. They participate in every economic sector. They're accomplished actors. They have children, families, live wonderful lives, participate in their families. They're not a burden to society. They're self-sustaining, self-sufficient. 25 years ago, all I knew was that my friend's heart was broken and that this abortion 
wasn't an abortion. It was a live birth of a person who wasn't a person under the law and the state in which it was delivered. Another incident happened some years later, and I'll tell you about that in another video. But this is the reason that I came to believe that maybe my pro-choice stance wasn't really morally justifiable at all. We'll talk about this more later. I hope you like this video, and if you do, please subscribe. It doesn't cost any money. A friend of mine told me yesterday I, I wanted to subscribe, but I can't afford it. It doesn't cost any money to subscribe. You just hit the little button, and then you'll get notifications when I post more videos. Have a wonderful day, and thank you.